Okay, two things before we get into this. Two things. One, Mountain Dew. <sighs> okay. And two, every single person who watches this video, every single person, not, I don't care who you are, every single person who watches this video and likes the video, you have to go thank Getsumara for helping me figure out a problem with the recorder. Unfortunately, because of my HD PBR's recording software, ArcSoft, I am now not doing the, uh, the first dungeon blind. I, have li I had literally recorded up to the first dungeon and about halfway to the s up to the second dungeon um, before I decided, like, oh, okay, I gotta go render some stuff. I need to edit so I can get a video up on release date. Well, the files that were being recorded by the recording software didn't really work out very well, and Vegas kept crashing. I thought that this was Vegas' fault, so I, like, reinstalled Vegas and everything. Problem is, it wasn't Vegas' fault. It was the video files. Getsu, I sent the files to Getsu, who tried them in his Vegas, and he said that they crashed Vegas. His Vegas. Which means that it was the video files. It wasn't, it wasn't my copy of Vegas. So, thanks to that, I now have to do this over again. Uh up till the first dungeon, which kinda sucks, uh, because you guys didn't get to see my first reactions, and, you know, I'm, I, seeing the openings and all that again will get me back in a good mood. Right now, I'm not really in a great mood, but I really need to record this. So, you know, hopefully... Okay, I, I've never seen that before, because I just went straight to the start button uh, in the original recording. Um, but yeah, go thank Getsumara. Seriously, he's he kind of helped a lot. He's sending me his recorder so that this doesn't happen again. All right, now I need to calibrate the Wii remote. You just place it down on a flat surface. A legend. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. I can't really record for all that much today either, because it's so late. I was fidgeting around on Vegas for about four or five hours, trying to get it to work. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. The goddess, not goddess says. Where are the three goddesses? The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. She sent it skyward, 
beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. That, that, this is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Swing as we remote. Yeah, anyway, I apologize. Um, yay! Instructional video for Wii Motion Plus. Um, I apologize for not being able to get my initial reactions in. I deleted my save data, by the way, which is why it says it's creating new data. Now, um... Uh... We're just gonna jump straight into the new adventure with Link as our hero, not ass, not any of that, just straight up Link, because it's the original Link. This is takes place before Ocarina of Time, and yeah. Um, I wish I could have gotten my initial reactions in and whatnot, but... <sighs> Technology. You're going to see a lot of fangasms, just because I still haven't gotten over, you know, everything. This is still like, oh my god, to me. Hello, derp birds! That's what I call them. I call them derp birds. Zelda's voice is so lovely. Now you guys will notice the music piece right there was the music piece that I used in the intro. Do not worry, that intro will not be used for every episode. That was just the first episode's intro. Uh, later episodes will... Whoa! 
will have shorter <laughs> intros. Like, very short intros. Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. But I don't want to awake, and I want to make friends with the black hedgehog that stands on two feet. <laughs> ah! I wonder what that could have been. It was a dirt bird, of course. <laughs> Hello, Dirt Bird. <laughs> it just spits it. Here you go. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm. Alarm. <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> I forgot to say the L in clock. Uh, I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. Yay! <laughs> I like his expression there. Wow. Like I'm still amazed at how well the the cutscene the cutscene visual design and graphic design Oh my god Now I know what's in here. Blue Rupee I think every time you leave Skyloft and come back that will refill the blue rupee. <sighs> I wonder what books he has. <laughs> Yeah, the textures aren't, you know, good enough for me to tell. Same there. Oh, he's like working on a uh, crafting. Uh, and to do this, you press C. Uh, plants. Now, um, what's cool about this game with the C button right here? Uh, the game doesn't. Uh, use the sensor bar. It uses the gyroscope to point like that. It doesn't use the sensor bar at all. Which is kind of cool. Hey, look at you. Yeah. Morning, Link! So, today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that Crimson Loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. Now... The the actual birds are called loft wings. I don't care what anybody says, they are dirt birds. Plain and simple. So I have a crimson dirt bird. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think I, he could beat that red terror of yours. Red terror? He's a nice bird. Leave him alone. He's my ho-oh. Of course, a bird's true speed and race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. <laughs> I forgot his name is Pippet. You totally have a hobbit name. Seriously, you are Hobbit Pippet to me. Now that is Instructor Horwell. There's nothing really of, of significance here except for this. You notice, look at the bookshelves over there. I just want to point this out because I thought this was an amazing idea. Look at these bookshelves as I back away. You'll notice what I'm talking about. I'll explain it after, but you'll notice it. You so they're fading out, and then as you get back here, it kind of looks like a painting. The bookshelves do. What Nintendo did, which I think is so ingenious, is that this game's looks and graphic style was based on impressionistic art. As you get further away from objects in this game, you can even see it down the hallway, the graphics uh, for um, things that are far off in the render, uh, far off to render, um, 
they turn into impressionistic style paintings. You can you can kind of tell it because it's like blurry. It looks like someone uh, just pushed their pushed a a brush onto a canvas. I think that is such an ingenious idea. I think that's such a great idea for graphic design. Good morning, Link. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Well, he's my buddy. He kind of looks like uh, Falby the Gay Clown. Except not as straightforward and, you know, creepy about it. Can I go outside? Do I want to go outside now? Yes, I do. I want to go outside. I want to go outside. I want to see Skyloft. I want to see Skyloft. 